Arguably the greatest experimentalist of all time was born here in London on September 22nd, 1791. He wasn't born into a wealthy family, and indeed it's not clear exactly where his childhood home was. All that can be said is that it was in Newington Butts, a region of South London. But from humble beginnings, we can genuinely say he discovered much of the modern world. Michael Faraday had essentially no formal education. His mathematical know-how ended at simple algebra, but his intuition for physics was so strong that, to renowned theoretical physicist James Clark Maxwell, he was, in reality, a mathematician of a very high order. So what exactly did he do? Among many other things, he discovered electromagnetic induction in 1831. For those not in the know, this is the phenomenon that is literally responsible for the entirety of the modern era, as it allows for the construction of an electrical generator, a device that converts mechanical motion, like a spinning turbine, into electricity. And that means everything that you plug into a wall has Faraday's name all over it. And the experiment that underpinned it all was deceptively simple. He wrapped one coil of wire around one side of an iron ring, and another coil around the other side, being careful to ensure that the wires were insulated from the iron. Faraday noticed that if he then connected one of the coils to a battery, for a brief moment an electrical current would flow through the other coil. At this time, Faraday already knew that electric currents produced magnetism. This was discovered by Hans Ersted ten years prior. Faraday's device showed that this electromagnetic phenomenon goes both ways. Magnetic fields can induce electric currents. In subsequent experiments, Faraday showed that moving magnets around loops of wire or vice versa did the same. And so he concluded that it was the change in magnetism that caused current to be induced in a wire. In modern language, we now call the relationship between the rate of change of a magnetic field and the magnitude of the induced voltage, which drives the current, Faraday's law. And just a few months later, he used this insight to build the world's first electric generator. Seventy years later, Einstein took this insight to develop intuition for special relativity. Over the next year, he began to believe what was, at the time, an astonishing proposal that would change the way we think about physics. That, perhaps, the electric and magnetic forces could somehow exist in empty space, only producing a measurable force when a wire or magnet entered that space. In modern language, he was proposing electric and magnetic fields. It took 50 years for this idea to become accepted, but it is now the way physicists think about everything. Oh, and did I forget to mention that 10 years before any of this, he built the world's first electric motor? Definitely important. 